Hey guys, Logan here, and talking about another video, and today we're going to be talking about the X Men. <laughs> now, I thought this was appropriate since the X since X Men Days of, uh, since the new Days of Future Past movie is coming out. So today I'm going to be rec I'm just going to recommend to you guys some X Men series you should seriously check out. Now, please know that these are not uh, like my all far all time favorite X Men stories of all time. Uh, these are just uh, these are just uh, some ex a few ex a few different X Men story arcs and stuff that I think you guys should just check out if you're an, if you want to if you're already an X Men fan and you haven't read this or if you're just a guy who wants to start reading X Men comics. But anyway, first first series I, I, I like to recommend to you guys is the miniseries Gambit. Now this is an old miniseries. This is from like the nineties, but this is very very good. This is number number num, num, number one, number two. Number three and number four. Now this is now now the the other X Men aren't really included in this story. They they, they like make a cameo in the beginning. Uh, yeah, you know, they make a cameo in the beginning, but they don't really, but they don't really appear that. Uh, they don't really play a big role. Gambit is essentially just a mini series about it's about Gambit and it talks more about his past life and about what he did before he became was an X Men, and uh, like he used to belong to this gang. Uh, this, this this gang of like the the thieves guild and then like what happens is that then uh the father well the leader of the kids uh, of the uh, of the thieves guild he comes he comes uh basically what happens is that he gets sick and then uh one of the thieves guild members who gambit used to know uh comes to the x mansion and he asks gambit please you have to come help us and then gambit like feels this gambit he feels this uh this like this honor uh, you know, honor among thieves, but yeah, he feels like this honor and this duty to go help them because he's not a part of them anymore, and he's trying to be good instead of bad. But he, but he still feels that he has a duty to at least, uh, okay, not to steal, but to at least, at least help these, uh, at least help this uh, the leader who is who is sick and ill. So yeah, so this is a great X Men series, and if you want to learn more about Gambit, I mean, okay, he was only in X Men Origins Wolverine. I don't think he's going to be in Days of Future Past, but. Still, Gambit is a really cool X Men character, and you should seriously check this mini series out. Then, another series here that is very, very good. You can buy the trade of it now, but the trade is very expensive. I remember I walked into the comic book store the other day, and I saw the trade. It was like a soft cover. It was like five hundred bucks. I was like, I like took it to the guy and said, <laughs> "No, seriously, what's the price?" He's like, he's like, "No, seriously, that that that's the price." I'm like, the black. Like, no, no, seriously, come on, guys, stop joking with me. But uh, they were just like, no, no, sir, we are serious. That is seriously the price. Which irritating, but yeah, because it's just that it's it's one of Marvel's most best selling stories they ever did, so they like to overprice stories like that. But anyway, a storyline that you should seriously check out is Avengers vs. X Men. This is, the, this, is, this is the zero issue, and then this is the issue one. Avengers vs. X Men is a really good story. Uh, now, don't get this confused. Now, there are two storylines uh, about this. There is The Avengers vs. X-Men. That came out like in the early 2000s. And then there's Avengers vs. X-Men. So you mustn't get those two confused. Because when I went to go online to go look, at the, look for the trade of this of the, of the story, uh, I found this other Avengers story called The Avengers vs. X-Men. And, and, and this little symbol in the background, the XA, it had that on it as well, and I was so confused that I had to go do research and find out, oh, okay, it's, this is actually a remake of that story. I haven't read the original, but this one is just, this one is so good. It's good. It's really good. But, essentially what happens is, is that this is, uh, this is, uh, essentially what the story is about is that, essentially, uh, uh, there's this, uh, meteor headed to Earth, and it's gonna destroy, it, it could literally just blow up the whole Earth, and Earth is like, Earth has nothing to stop it. But anyway, um, uh, 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 Cyclops' daughter, also the daughter of Jean Grey, is probably the most, is, she's like the most powerful mutant ever made. Okay, I don't know if she's really, if she's more powerful than Cable. I don't know, I'm not sure how Cable fits into that, but uh, anyway, she is the most powerful mutant ever, ever created, and basically she, and she's like this teenager, she's cocky, she thinks her powers are a, are a, are a, she doesn't think they're a gift. She thinks that they're a curse that that been put on her, and her dad's like very Cyclops is very protective of her. He's always like training her and everything, and she just wants to go out and be a noble girl. She doesn't want to do all this training, all this responsibility. Anyway, and then the Avengers they come in, and they say that y'all look, we need this, we need her. 
she has to help us because if we, she doesn't help us, this entire earth will just blow up from that comment. And then Sarko was just like, I don't, I, I don't care. You guys, you guys have destroyed most of my mutant, most of uh, mutants. So I, I, I could really care less if you guys go. They're like, yeah, but you will go with us. Like, oh, it's fine, fine. You guys will go with us. So it's fine. I, 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 I don't care. And there's hardly any. There's only like two hundred of us left in the world. So it doesn't matter really if we die because we're already, we're basically already dead. Anyway, then the Avengers just, and the Avengers just have this massive battle of the X-Men, and they just, like, start fighting each other. Uh, uh, and it's it's a really, really good series, and it's a really good story. I mean, if you're a, a, a I mean, you don't even have to be an X-Men fan, even if you're just an Avengers fan, check this story out. The story arc is just amazing, it's so good, and, oh, I want to get the trade of it so badly, but, ugh, price, damn it, I hate when they have a price stuff. Anyway, uh, Okay, another another very good X-Men story to check out is Wolverine, Wol Wolverine Goes to Hell. <sighs> I'm serious, guys. He goes to he seriously goes to hell. I'm not joking here. But yeah. Essentially what the storyline's about essentially uh Wolverine's been Wolverine uh uh Wolverine has sort of been had a body swap thing. He's uh his soul has been like taken out of his body and put into hell, and now he's like suffering in hell. And then this, and then the devil has taken this demon soul and put the demon soul into Wolverine's body. And now Wolverine's got on this ramp, and now since this guy's in Wolverine's body and he basically can't die, and he could kick everyone's ass, he goes around, he starts killing a whole bunch of people, and then, uh, and then like, and then, and then at the same time, there's these, there's these few X Men that uh, there's, uh, there's like one or two people that know, and they're trying to help Wolverine. And then he goes and ends up killing some X Men, and uh, it was a very, it was a very, very brutal but very good story, written by Jason Aaron, and he's very good with, he's very good with Wolverine stories. His Wolverine stories are actually pretty good, uh, and yeah, and then uh, basically, and then at the end, it ends, it ends on a cliffhanger, and yeah, but this card book is very, very good. Um, like, uh, any of you guys who are uh, fans of Superior Spider Man? With whole, the whole Doc Ock taking over, uh, you know, going into Peter Parker's body, and then he becomes a more violent Spider-Man, and then, like, people start fearing him instead of liking him. Um, if you like, like, if you like Superior Spider-Man, then, the, then you'll like this, because it's essentially the same, except it's just, you know, with Wolverine, it's just the Wolverine version. But yeah, this is a very good story, and, you know, if you're an X-Men fan, definitely check this out. Okay. And then finally, the last X Men story, which is one of my favorites, is this is X X Men Gifted. Now this is a, this is a very good trade. Um, this one's actually written by you can see there's written by Josh Whedon, who directed Avengers. So he's so that's what I like about Josh Whedon is that you know they didn't just get any director to direct to direct Avengers. They got actually got someone with actual superhero comic book experience. And yeah, the art's pretty good. I mean, you know, here's a yeah, some of the art, art, art's not too bad. Uh, and essentially, what this is about, essentially, it's just about um, the X Men and, and uh, Professor Xavier's gone, and the X Men is like in shambles. They don't know what they're supposed to do. They don't know if they're supposed to carry on the school, or uh, they don't know what to do. And anyway, and then, and then, about, uh, some of the the the, the veteran X Men, like Kitty Pro Kitty Prod. Beast, Cyclops, and, and Wolverine, they say, you know what, Let's we're just going to carry on the X-Men. I didn't care if there's only four of us. And then Silver, and then, uh, what's what's her name? Ah, oh, damn, I can't, I, can't, I can't remember her name. But anyway, this chick comes in, and, you know, she's putting the moves on, Cy on Cyclops. Because, unfortunately, the X-Men, they need a sidekick, because they don't have Professor Xavier, and they don't have Jean Grey, so they have to have some form of sidekick in their team. Because you know, psychic very uh, play, uh, uh, psychic mutants play an important part in the X Men. Um, but yeah, this is a really good, really good story. Um, it's very excellent, and it's it's basically uh, the X Men trying to move on from uh, after Xavier's dead, and it's a very good read for the X Men. Uh, and this is personally one of my favorites. I, I really like it. So uh, it's a very good X Men story, and I think Josh Whedon did a good job. So yeah, so definitely pick that up. Um, Oh yeah, just so you know, just uh, quick, quick scores. Uh, this I would give a five out of five. Very good. This one, I, this one, I give a four. Um, these two, I would give per, probably five out of five. And and then this 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 mini series essentially, I will give a 
four out of five. So yeah, so that's some pretty good ratings. And yeah, anyway, thanks for checking out my video, guys. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. And thanks, guys.